Hey guys, welcome back to another question. So let's have a look at number four now. Okay, so it tells us that we have a figure one which shows a sketch of part of the curve C, which is a this U shaped quadratic one with a given equation. Okay, so here's the equation. Now, just look at this head on. Okay, we can see that this curve cuts the line at two points A and B. We can also see that at point A, it seems to cross the y axis. So we can guarantee that this point here has an x coordinate of zero. Because when something cuts the y axis, it, the, it, the value of x is always zero because it hasn't moved across. Now, to find the y value, all you do is just plug in the, the value of zero into either equation of the curve of the line. But because we have the line the curve equation, just, just replace x with zero here. So you're going to essentially have on this part here e to the negative, in this case, 0, so e to the 0, plus um, 0 minus 3. And e to the 0 is 1, so 1 minus 3 will give us negative 2. So that's the coordinate of A, okay? And that's going to help us later. Now, carry on the reading. So the curve C crosses the y-axis at point A. The line L is the normal to C, keyword. Now, if this is the normal, this means that at some, at some point, there was a tangent, which was a straight line, and the normal will therefore make it perpendicular at this point A. So essentially, you can just find the gradient of this normal by firstly um, using dy of dx, differentiating this equation, and, and placing the value of um, x, which is 0, and then taking a reciprocal to find the, the perpendicular gradient. So let's have a go. Let's find the equation of, the, of this line in this form y equals mx plus c. Okay, so first things first, let's find a gradient, yeah? Now, I did it here already. So I said, okay, let's have a look. So using the equation here and trying to find the gradient m, let's just go ahead and differentiate this. So dropping the power minus 2, so differentiating the exponential, we should get minus 2 e to negative 2x. And then for x squared, drop the power down, you get plus 2x. So nice and easy. And then to find the gradient, well, to find the value of dy dx first, we just do it at point A. And this has an x coordinate of 0. So plug in 0 for x for both of them. You should put this in your calculator and you should get about negative 2. So that's the value of dy dx. Now this would be the gradient if it was a line of a tangent. But because it's a normal, we just take the reciprocal. So it's going to be plus 1 over 2. And that's our gradient. Hence, for y equals mx plus e. So remember, this is a line equation of a straight line. You just replace m with positive half. And so far, our equation looks like this. Okay. Now to find c... Just plug in any point on that curve or that line, and we got 0 minus 2. So replace x to 0, y minus 2, you should get something like this. Minus 2 equals 0 plus c, and therefore c equals minus 2. And hence our final equation, replacing c with minus 2, we have half x minus 2. And that's it guys, that's the equation of the tangent, of the normal. Now let's look at part b. So the line L meets c again at point b. Okay, so we're talking about this point here. So again, this is simultaneous equations, if you guys haven't seen. Since we've got the, the, the line, the, the new line, which is y equals half x minus 2, we're more or less going to solve this simultaneously now. Now, show that the x coordinate of b is a solution of this one. Now, all they're doing here, really, is just rearranging these two equations, but they're not technically solving for x, because we have x in multiple places. Okay, so let's have a look and just solve this simultaneously. See if we can prove this result. Now, part b. So I've already started off like this, and this is the objective. Now, if you can see carefully, my tip is to work backwards, yeah? Notice how we got a square root. If we squared both sides, the square root will go, so it looks a bit like, let me just cross this out. So we have x squared equals this term. And looking at the equation, I would just go ahead and make x squared a subject for now. So we could plus 3 across, and then minus the e term, we're going to have, therefore, x squared equals half x, Okay, so minus, so adding 3 across, minus 2 becomes plus 1. And subtracting the exponential, we're going to have a negative e to minus 2x. Okay? So at the moment, it's the same thing. Now, you just rearrange the position here and say, therefore, x equals the square root of 1 plus half x minus e to negative 2x. And that's it. That's part B done as well. Now, for C, let's have a look. So using the iterative formula, so again, it's the same thing, replacing x with x n plus 1, whereas the x is inside become x n and um, x n. So using the initial value x1 equals 1, find the next two values. Okay, there's a nice trick here. And the trick for this kind of question is to use a calculator and using the answer button in the calculator. What I would do is firstly, press 1 in your calculator, then press the equal sign. 
And when you do that, you're going to automatically save the value 1 in your calculator. So that's going to be your answer. Now what I will do, copy this formula down, but replace XN with your answer button. So yeah, so what happened here is that your answer value is currently at 1. And what it's going to do, every time you press equal with the, with the button answers here, it's going to automatically find the next values up. So it looks a bit like this. This is what should be in your calculator. And when you do that, making sure the answer is, is initially 1, pressing equal the first time will give us the next value for, for the answer, which is 1.168 and so on. Rounds to this value. And pressing equal again without touching nothing will give us the x3 value. And if you keep pressing equal, you're eventually going to get x4 and x5, so on. Eventually, I mean, you don't have to do this, but if you keep doing this after many, many times, the value will stabilize here. So this will be the true x value, but you don't need that. But yeah, guys, I hope this helps. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe, share with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see you on question five. Ciao.